Folder view. Today we're going to do another lesson on taking control uh, of JAWS and making them do what you want to do. So uh, with beginner students, let's go ahead and go over our desktop control commands. So I want you to start key M. Windows N. And then I want you to tab. Add, start button to open, press add, add, add bar and we're moving in a circle around the monitor. And when you get to your system tray, which is in the bottom right hand corner, you can arrow and left arrow. Continue to tab. And we're back to the desktop. Now you can also move backwards. Let's say the student has to get to the calendar. So shift tab twice. And you're into the system tray. And hit the left left arrow so you get to the time and hit enter, enter. to open date and time information. Thursday, so when the student needs to find out what date falls on what particular day the student can just move around with their arrows Friday January 20th Saturday January 24th Saturday January 28th and if they need to go into the next month they can continue to just hit their right arrow Sunday. Wednesday, and the months February automatically 1st, change 2012. which is a really nice feature uh, so go ahead and hit escape, escape, escape. I want you to insert F12. 8:15 a.m. It tells you the time. Insert F12 twice quickly. 8 Thursday, January 19th, And it tells you even more information. So those are really nice features. Insert F11 will quickly take you to sy system tray. Select the system tray icon dialog. Microsoft X JAWS for Windows. Of course, that's one way to get to JAWS or any of your other options. But uh, insert J is quicker, escape, so we're going to hit Escape. Insert J. JAWS context menu options sub menu. And it op basic, opens speed. all of your options. Go escape, ahead and hit Escape and get out of there. Let's go into Word, and if you look down on my taskbar, you can see that Word is there. Now, if you want to add an icon there, hit your Start key. Menu search box edit type text in this edit field. Or now I have the many icons that are already Mozilla permanently pinned uh, to my Start menu. 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 So whenever I hit my Start menu, these will be here. So let's go ahead. We want to add Mozilla Fo Firefox. M. Hit your Applications, Applications key. O. And here are all your options. Open. O. Run as administrator. Pin to taskbar. A. Now, if I hit enter on pin to taskbar, you're going to see this go down to the bottom. Unpin from start menu. U. Of course, if this was not pinned to the start menu, it would say pin to start menu. So any program that you use a lot, pin it to the start menu. Give yourself multiple options and multiple ways to get there. So let's go ahead and pin, pin this to, to the taskbar. I'm going to hit enter. enter. Menu. Start menu. And now menu. that becomes the sixth icon start button in my enter. taskbar. So if I hit start key six, Windows six. Mozilla Firefox. it opens. Gmail Mozilla Firefox. Let's go ahead and get out of there with Gmail all F4. Firefox, F4. Now let's go into Word, which is going to be start key four. Windows four. Cancel button to activate press space bar. Oh. Now here is one of the biggest secrets. This is running as a DOCX or an XML document and you will have uh, many issues within this document because it's going to give you forms. So let's give you a couple of examples. Let's go ahead and uh, insert Alt a header. Upper H. Blank, blank header one of 28 to navigate press left And it right does header. not tell you. Blank three columns, blank alphabet, center document, title over double, annual title and date with accent lines, four of 28. All alphabet, the information that you need blank, about blank, this header. header. Let's go ahead and hit enter, enter, enter and you can text, see it is a form. Text. So if you type your name in there and hit escape and then want to go back to that header, it erases it because it's a form. Uh, so let's go ahead and give you another example. So we're up here. Escape. Let's okay. go ahead and exit out of there. And as you can see, the form is still up there, even though you didn't type in it. Uh, so let's go ahead and do Alt N, and let's go to our numbers, which is N U. Top of page. This also does. This option doesn't tell you any information. It just tells you play number one, play number two. So you don't even really know where you are at. Hit enter. And once again, it is a form. So if you want to add a, add your name to it, one, two, three, four, five, you could. Uh, but once again, it's a form. If I wanted to access that, once again, I'm going to have issues and it's going to erase. Here's another issue. So let's do Alt N and, and insert Word Art. And, and these are fill letters. So let's go ahead and hit Enter. And let's just type in Center. We're going to hit our Applications key. We're going to hit W for Wrap Text and up arrow to lay out more options. Go ahead and control tab to position. Alt A, tab, centered, and enter. 
Now, as many people uh, eight, hit escape eight, one, and get out of there, one, uh, they'll try one, to hit one, their enter and, 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 to in insert information. Of course, they've forgotten. So, Control Shift Right Arrow, selected. Control X to co clipboard. copy and cut, Top Control five, Home and paste. Then down arrow, and you've gotten past that issue. Uh, another big issue is uh, let's go ahead and insert a diagram. So all in, and we're going to insert. Menu bar. Oh. Our diagrams, uh, I had done a food pyramid and a site, food chain and etc. And of course, uh, the way I chose that was in compatibility mode. And I'm going to show you how to get into that. So if you List. want Project. to do these options, cycle. let's go ahead and tab right. into our Tabbing cycle. Let's cycle. say this Enter. is the cycle I want. These are all form Word. boxes. So R let's go ahead and type in grass, fox, P -O -X, box, box, open. C -O -W, cow, open. Uh, and let's say we just want to delete cow, that. Open. And now we're going to hit open. enter. Plan, cow, delete open. that. Escape, escape out. One. Print view, the document has two objects. Edit. Control Top home. Plan, 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 Down plan, arrow. Plan, slash. Plan, slash. And you can plan, see how slash. you cannot reselect. Plan, you can see the flash. Slash. It's trying desperately slash. to reselect select that. that. Uh, it can't, so you have to do a, a control shift, right arrow. And then you have to tab around to get to your objects, get your applications key, menu, and then format, format your object that way. Uh, so it's a lot more technically difficult than if you go into compatibility mode. So let me show you how to do that. Escape. 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 And we're going to do Control N. N. Document two, Microsoft Word. We're going to do all F. Menu, now hit T for your menu, options. Edit, hit options, S save. for your save. And do all F. All F word document. For your Word documents. If you just go down to Word 97 2003 document dot doc and hit enter, now tab again, close your Word, no don't save this, I'm just Alt f 4 ing I'm going to open again, start key 4, cancel button to activate press space bar, Microsoft Word document, document 1 compatibility mode, compatibility mode, that's what you're listening for. Now let me show you how much easier it is to use uh, 2003 commands. So you're going to do Alt, V, and H for your headers, Control, R. Now the blind person is taking complete control of this and of course your talking software is telling you everything. So name, one, two, three, four, five, let's insert the page number. So we're going to do all I, U. There we are. Right. Inside. Outside. I want centered. Enter. And now it's centered. Uh, of course, I would put everything to the right align. Uh, anyway, you can down arrow into your footer. Let's go ahead and do it again. Alt I, U. Where do I want it? Let's go ahead and put it to the left. Enter. 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 Escape twice. So uh, the talking software will talk absolutely every everything uh, in compatibility view mode, and of course you won't get those form fields. Let's do the word art. So Alt N W. And now you can see the true word art that is available. Hit Enter. And there's no guessing by the blind students. So let's go ahead and type in Center. Tab to OK. Now you can do Control R to write a line. Control E. Control L. Far easier. Let's go ahead and center that. Let's hit our applications key. Up arrow to format. You can change your colors there. Let's go to size. All H. Let's change that to 200. And hit enter. Hit escape. Uh, and so that is just a far, far easier to move around. Let's do a diagram now. So we're going to do all N. And now we have our simple diagrams where it's going to immediately pop you in right to where you want to be. Uh, so compatibility mode really is a big secret and it helps you take control of JAWS and then of course it allows the talking software to talk everything in your document. So change that back uh, to compatibility mode dot doc and you will save yourself a lot of headache. Hit escape out of there. Remember, insert tab. Tells you exactly where you are. You're at a blank. Insert T. And you're in your title. Close all F4. No, don't save. You're in your desktop. Insert tab. And it tells you exactly where you're at. So that's how you can take control of JAWS.